As you can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to an estate sale today and I just got to the sale. It's 9.30 and the sale starts at 10, so I'm gonna go sign up. Usually I like to get here at least an hour before the sale to get higher up on the list, but I woke up a little late today. 12th on the list isn't too bad and there's not really many cars here, so I think it's gonna be a chill estate sale, which is nice. The pictures in the description of the estate sale looks pretty solid too, so I'm excited to go see what's in there. While I'm waiting though, I'll give you guys a little channel slash life update because I haven't really been posting on YouTube much. I haven't posted on YouTube in a bit just because I haven't been thrifting much really. I've been going through my death pile, like all the stuff that I haven't listed. So I'm almost completely done with that, but I didn't want to do any more thrifting while I still had that massive pile to list. I'm finally getting around to that because I'm moving to Milwaukee in May and I just want to get rid of as much stuff as possible before I move. So all my fellow resellers out there, list your death piles. It'll boost your sales tremendously. I had my best week on Depop ever this past week and I think this week is going to top that as well. But yeah, I'm going to be moving to Milwaukee May 1st and I'm really excited for that because commuting to vintage events in Milwaukee, the furthest one will be like 10 minutes. So that'll save a ton of gas money. And then once I move to Milwaukee, I am going to start going to the bins because there is a bins in Milwaukee. The bins are only 15 minutes from my current house, but I'm just not really a bins guy. I don't know. I like to be chill when I'm thrifting. I don't want to feel rushed, but I feel like if I really want to start taking this serious, I have to start going to the bins. And then one more update, I did delete TikTok just because I was wasting so much time scrolling. And the other reason why I deleted it was just because I felt like Instagram is a way more professional way to grow your business compared to TikTok. I don't know if that really makes sense, but in my head it does. Like with the content I want to make, I feel like it just works better on Instagram and YouTube. Also, when I started listing my death pile at the same time I deleted a TikTok and my Depop numbers went way up. So I don't know if like it was just the death pile, but it was probably a combination of deleting TikTok and not wasting as much time on there. Also, the website, Blue Boy Vintage dot com is back up it was down for a bit just because i wanted to get rid of all the stuff on there that i didn't really think was high quality or like stuff i didn't like so moving forward on the website it's really only going to be stuff that i think is high quality and like stuff that i truly like you can still find all the other stuff on my depop but i just wanted to go in a different direction with the website i think those are all the life slash blue boy updates i'll talk to you guys when it's a state sale time a couple resellers were on the list before me but i still found some stuff So I did find some stuff, but I think the other resellers got to the better stuff before me. So I just have to use this as a learning experience that I have to get to the estate sales earlier. I think I'm gonna head to a couple thrifts in the area and then once I'm parked and all situated, I'll give a little haul from the estate sale. Here's one of the finds, this Columbia jacket. It has lots of cool details, good color too. And then I also found a couple sweaters. This was the first one, nice pattern. So this woman's Eddie Bauer mock neck sweater, another nice pattern. This vintage American Eagle made in USA, like fisherman knit sweater type thing with the elbow patches. Nice detail. Wisconsin Women's Athletics 90s Champion t-shirt. Vintage Ron John Surf Shop t-shirt. I didn't realize it was stained up when I grabbed it because I was going quick, but I think those might come out. That's a cool back hit. The last two finds were these two Nike sweats, and if you watch the channel, you know these are a staple on the Depop, so... I was happy to find these. So for everything I paid 39 bucks even, I'm not sure what that is per piece because I'm not doing math right now, but let me know how you guys think I did. Getting rained on right now, I'm gonna head into the thrift. Got another pair of the Nike sweats. Couple more finds here. We got this vintage Packers crew neck. And then this top heavy hoodie, which is a good Y2K brand to look out for. It sells well. This single stitch cat nature tee. This Brandon Jennings jersey. Milwaukee Bucks legend. And then this isn't vintage, but I sell these hockey style hoodies on Depop all the time. So I'll be picking up this New York Rangers Reebok hoodie. Whole bunch of mids today, but mids are good for the Depop. So I'm not complaining. I think I'm gonna head to two more thrifts. The Goodwill, which I was at two days ago. So I don't think I'm gonna find much. And then there's a St. Vincent de Paul bins that I'm gonna try and go to. I haven't been to the St. Vincent de Paul bins in about a year. There's no one ever there because I don't think they rotate the bins. They just bring them out once a day. And then that's what you have to dig through. And they also have like a curated vintage section. So I think they pull all the good stuff out and put it on racks, which is weird for a bins. I feel like that defeats the whole purpose, but I'm gonna check it out anyway. Got this Illinois Nike Center swoosh hoodie. That's all I found there. I can't complain though, cause this store is on my way home anyway. I'm gonna head to the St. Vinny's bins now, which is also on my way home.
Not a surprise, but I did not find anything. I didn't dig for too long just because there was so much stuff and I was getting overwhelmed. And I also overheard an employee saying the last time they got new bins was like two weeks ago. So it was kind of pointless. Also, the vintage section that they have is ridiculous. Those Oshkosh Bagash coveralls, I saw at the St. Vincent Racks like two weeks ago probably, and they were priced at the same exact price. It, the whole point of the, like, the St. Vincent outlet is to get rid of the item at a lower price so it doesn't end up in a landfill. So that makes absolutely zero sense to me. Rant is over. I think I'm gonna head home. Don't think I'm gonna do any more thrifting today though. I'm back home and I wanted to show my Depop stats just to show you how crazy this past week has been. I'm gonna blur out my revenue because I don't want you guys pocket watching, but 91 items sold the past seven days, which is pretty good. So today's Thursday and I definitely think this is gonna be my best week ever because yesterday, Wednesday, I sold 16 items. And then on Tuesday, I sold 20 items. And then on Monday, I sold 13 items. And for Thursday today, I've already sold 20 items. So my numbers are gonna be way up. The only drawback to selling so many items is packing all those orders because I'm at the post office every day with Ikea bags full and I still have like 50 more orders to pack from the past three days. But there is much worse problems that you could have, so I guess I'm not going to complain. I think that's going to conclude this video. I'm probably just going to spend the rest of the day packing all those orders and then working on my oxy pile. If you made it this far in the video though, thank you for watching. More videos are going to be on the way.